Isn't it amazing how many programs we load on our computers over a short period of time? I'm sure you also have a few favorites. We load these programs on our computers for many reasons. It depends on what we want to achieve with them. Although I'm probably going to refer to these as programs most of the time, we can also refer to these programs as applications or software. They are called applications because we apply some kind of task with programs. This video will go on for a few days if I must mention all the different programs that you will find out there. So I'm going to mention just a few types of programs to give you an idea of how big the programming industry is. While I'm going through this, you can just sit back and think how your programs fit into these categories. But also imagine how difficult and boring your life will be without these programs. Let's start with utility programs. These are the little programs that makes our lives a lot easier. When you buy a new computer or when you load a new operating system like Windows, you also load a few utility programs. The Windows Calculator is an example. When I was still in school, we only started to use calculators in high school. They were big and bulky and they relied on battery power. Those old calculators were inconvenient because they had to be carried around in our bookcases. There were some other utilities that we also carried in our bookcases like calendars and diaries. Most of these utilities were misplaced or they lost their purpose after a while. A calendar, for example, could only be used for one year. After that year it had no purpose. Another time waster was to mark all your important dates like birthdays on a new calendar every year. And you must remember to look at the calendar every day. And you know all the troubles that you will be in if you forget your best friend's birthday. Well, all those problems are solved now. By the way, we also refer to programs as solutions. Now that is a nice descriptive name because solutions solve problems for us. With some calendar programs, you do not have to carry birthdays over to the next year. You only have to capture the information once and it will be there year after year. You can even refer back to previous years to see what happened on dates in the past. Some calendar programs even allow you to keep a diary and the best of all, they can remind you about important dates and times. Some other utility programs that we use often are clocks, timers, stopwatches and so on. Business programs are probably the most widely used applications. Every business has some kind of program to enable the people working for that business to run the day-to-day -day activities. Many of these applications are purpose-built for a specific type of business, but some of them can be used for many different types of businesses. Business programs help organizations to do their work faster and to save costs. For example, banks have auto-tellers and internet banking applications so that you do not have to stand in a long queue to do transactions. And the branch do not have to stay open 24-7 to cater for everybody's needs. It also makes banking accessible to as many clients as possible. Sometimes anywhere in the world. Banks also provide card devices so that businesses can do real-time transactions without exchanging money. That reduces transaction costs. And because businesses do not work with so much cash, it reduces the security risk and the cost of theft. All these devices are driven by software applications and very powerful database management systems that are also programs. Businesses use programs to manage stock, to keep track of customer demographics, to do their bookkeeping, and some even have programs that are used in machines to manufacture stuff. I mentioned internet banking applications a few seconds ago. Let's also talk about other web applications. Websites are displayed or rendered in programs called browsers. Some of the popular browser applications nowadays include Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Safari and Firefox to name a few. These browser applications were developed by programming teams to enable us to view web content. But the websites that are rendered in these browsers are also programs. We refer to them as websites. Websites have many different purposes. In the last few decades, businesses embraced the web as a way to sell their products and services. Some of these businesses operate almost entirely online, and you can now sit in your bedroom and purchase almost anything imaginable from your computer, tablet or your smartphone. 
Yeah, you can think of websites like Amazon.com, eBay and Burrow Buy. However, the World Wide Web is much more than just business. The web provides information about any topic you can think of. With all the different types of websites on the internet, the way that we do business, the way that we communicate, the way that we socialize, the way that we learn and the way that we live changed forever. Just think of all the information, products, services, conversations and fun that are available to you with the click of your mouse button. Websites like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Google and Amazon made the world a much smaller place than it used to be. Educational solutions are also examples of programs. If you are watching this video from our LearnDelphi.net website, you are using a type of program called a Learning Management System or an LMS in short. LMSs can be normal desktop programs that you install on your computer or they can be a website like our LearnDelphi.net website. Educational applications are used by students to learn something, but some are also very handy for teachers. Teachers can make their classes and lessons more interesting and interactive and they can keep track of a student's progress. They can mark tests and quizzes, show slideshow presentations and they can communicate with students using various programs. Programs are not only for doing work. That will be good news to many. You can also use some programs to play. Computer games are probably the programs that most students are familiar with. We all know that movies are big money makers. A series of movies like Lara Croft for example made millions of dollars in theaters. But I read somewhere that the revenue from the Lara Croft games made a lot more than the movies. When I was still a child we played cowboys and Indians in the street and we played board games like Checkers and Monopoly. Later on some supermarkets had TV games like Pac-Man and Space Invaders. These games were played on TV screens inside a huge cabinet and the resolution was bad. Nowadays we have games on our own PCs, tablets, smartphones and other devices like PlayStation, Xbox and Wii. We can even play against people on the other side of the world over the internet or a LAN. All this fun is thanks to the hard work of a team of programmers. Maybe you are not a gamer. So what other entertainment programs are there for you? Well, if you like listening to music, there's a program for you. And if you like watching videos, there's a program for you. You are using a program just by watching digital TV. There are many other types of programs that I didn't mention here. For example, mobile apps. Vendors of mobile phones and tablets open their own app stores that host thousands of mobile apps that can be downloaded. You pay for some of these apps. Many can be downloaded for free. Some of these app stores include Apple's App Store for iPads and iPhones and Google's Play Store for Android phones and tablets and Microsoft's Windows App Store for Windows phones and tablets. Many of these apps in the app stores were developed by individuals like me and you. I recently watched a YouTube video about a 14 year old boy that already published 12 different apps on the app store and he is raking in thousands of dollars. Now think of all the mobile programs that you wish to create. Chances are that a similar program already exists somewhere on these app stores. And that is the beauty of being a programmer. You can work in almost any industry. Agriculture, banking, shipping and transport, entertainment, sports, education, finances. Name any industry and there is a job for a programmer. Alright, that was a quick look at some of the types of programs that exist in the market today. Depending on the version of Delphi that you are using and depending on how far you take your Delphi education, you will also eventually be able to develop many of these types of applications. But you must start somewhere. My hope is that these lessons will not only help you to do well in school but it will also encourage you to consider software development as a career. In the next video I will discuss different programming languages and I will also show you a few different programming languages. See you later!